Is there any system of government you would rather live under? For all your criticisms, liberalism, it is, it is nice to have a free press and free elections. And I mean, Singapore is very clean, but also, you, you know, you could get fined for jaywalking. Depends on who you, uh, it depends on who you are. If, would you prefer, if you were living in Detroit, would you prefer Detroit or Singapore? Now, you've got free speech in Detroit. If you're not one of the hundreds of thousands, I think now, of deaths of despair in mm. the colossal opioid um, um, ep epidemic there, uh, people don't only want free speech. Very important. I've lived by it, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to attack it. Um, uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a great thing. But there's no one single ideal type of government. For the rest of the life of everyone in this room, I think, there will be slightly tattered liberal democracies. There'll be illiberal democracies. There'll be autocracies. There'll be theocracies. Um, there'll be ethnic nationalist states. There'll be civic nationalist states. And there'll be parts of the world where there's no state at all, just zones of anarchy. That's what will be for every single person in this room, in, in, in my view. Uh, there might be slightly more liberal democracies or slightly fewer, but there won't be a universal or even anywhere near a universal liberal democracy because there's been 30 odd years since this prophecy or prediction or whatever it was. Frank didn't predict that there'd be no major conflicts. He never did. But he did think that there was no sust sustainable alternative uh, to liberalism. Well, um, some regimes are so abominable that no one wants to live in them. Most are mixed. And uh, legitimacy in regimes isn't a matter of fitting any theory like liberalism or, or Marxism or some other theory. It's a complicated thing to do with peace, prosperity, security, having rulers you can halfway trust or at least not 100% mistrust, um, who somehow reflect your values. It's a very complicated thing. And, it all, and shifting all the time. And so that's, as it were, um, um, my, my answer to you. So I, I agree with you basically that you'll have all these different kinds of regimes in the world and it may not be the case that the liberal ones will necessarily be dominant, but there's one fact that I think is indicative of which is the best regime. And that's, the, that's kind of the question uh, that was posed that you skipped over. Uh, and I think people are voting with their feet, right? There are hundreds of thousands of people every single year that escape from chaotic, uh, poor, you know, badly governed places. And where do they choose to go? Do they go to Russia? Do they go to China? Do they go to North Korea? No, they go to liberal societies because I think that everybody has this perception that they want to live if they had the opportunity they want to live in a law-governed, you know, stable country that is well-to-do, gives their children opportunities, education, for education, for, you know, socially advancing themselves. And so I think people are voting with their feet and they're voting to live in liberal societies.